This is Eugene Hanrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. Name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And today we're going to replace a cracked laptop screen on a Toshiba Satellite A665 laptop. The tools we're going to need to do this job are a small electronic screwdriver with a pH zero bit and a pH one bit, a pair of metal tweezers, and a hobby knife or an exacto knife or a razor blade or even a box cutter blade will do fine. Okay, so this laptop is um, not too bad to replace the screen on. You have to remove the four screws from the plastic frame, also known as the bezel. Remove the plastic frame and then we can get to the screen itself. Now the A665 comes in two flavors. It either has the 15.6 inch LED screen or the 16 inch LED screen. This particular one has the 16 inch LED screen but the procedure is similar to both of them. The only difference is the replacement screen that you have to order. Okay, uh, so let's get started. The first thing we have to take do is take off the plastic covers from the screws. That's where the X-Acto knife blade comes in. So we, what I like to do is put it, stick it to the side so we don't lose it. Okay, go try not to damage them and try to make sure that the adhesive stays on the plastic part and not on the screw itself. Sometimes you can't avoid it, but try anyway. Okay, that's three. And that's four. Okay, next we use our pH one bit to remove these screws. One, uh, keep all your screws in separate piles from different parts so that you don't keep them, don't lose them and keep them organized. Two, three, if the screw doesn't want to come out, I like to use the tweezers to take it out. And almost there. My left hand is not as good as my right hand. I'm not ambi ambidextrous, although it would be nice for this job. Okay, it came out. Okay, so here comes the trickiest part of this whole job, and that's to take off the plastic frame without damaging it. It's not too bad. So what I like to do is go from the screen side and lift up, lift it up with my fingers, and once you start hearing the snapping sound, that's good. So you work your way around it. If a part doesn't want to give, just move on. So I'll keep going. Sometimes corners are a bit tougher, but we can do it. And almost there. Looks like it's a little bit stuck where the seam is here, so I can help out a little bit with an exacto blade, and it's out. So we put that to the side, and we look at the screen. So the screen is held on, held to some metal mounting brackets with screws on the side. Sometimes it's easy to get to the screws, sometimes it's hard. Let's take a look. For this particular laptop, it's really easy. So there's two screws on each side. We 
remove them one by one. Make sure the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit. When you remove all the screws, the screen just doesn't fall forward on you because there's the screen connector on the back and then there's the webcam cable that sometimes adhere to the screen. To the screen. Now, on this side, this I presume this is a brand new laptop and it's never been opened before. Let's check, check it out again. Oh, no. I thought there were only three screws on one side and two screws on the other, but there's three screws on both sides. So I was going to make fun of Toshiba, but now I can't. Okay. So we're going to remove the three screws from both sides. One. A side note, uh, I own a laptop almost identical to this one. I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing I don't like about it is the mouse pad. It's not as sensitive as some of the other ones, but otherwise it's a good fast laptop. Okay. So now the screws are removed and what we do is we tilt the screen assembly forward. Actually, we lower it and see that the video webcam cable is, has some tape that adheres to the screen. So we carefully remove it, and we see that it's better to remove the connector because we can't lower the screen enough to get to the connector here. So what we're going to do is gently remove this connector and make sure remember to reconnect the webcam once you start putting it together. Okay, this is a 16 inch LED screen, so it only has one connector. As far as I know, the standard 16 inch LED screens come only in one flavor. So the connector is always over here, so you don't have to worry about that. So what we're doing now is I took off some tape from the front and also, I lifted the adhesive from the back and we remove the connector like so. Okay, the screen is released. So um, this is a 16 inch LED screen, like I said before. The model number is, let's take a look, LTN160, it's hard to get a good focus. There we go. LTN160AT06. So that's what you have to look up on Google or eBay, and most likely you'll get a compatible screen. But it should look exactly like this. The thing to look for is make sure the connector is down here, bottom right. And if you had a glossy screen, make sure it's glossy, what you get. And that's it. And to put it back together, reverse the procedure, and you're done. And good luck. My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the website is www.screensurgeons.com.